What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Neo, Tesla, Spy, Nvidia, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down what's happening with the overall market thus far as we have some very important data coming out for next week. And all of this could affect the market moving forward. But before I begin to get most information, let me just mention a couple of things. I'm personally not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks. You deposit $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 75 of them. And all friends very soon in just four days. Anyways, for NEO right now, the share price is looking a bit more bullish as we got a nice breakout above over 8.72%. I also mentioned that NEO would likely see a bounce in my video from yesterday to at least 4.36, if not higher. And that's what happened for today. We got this nice little bounce. But again, the current share price is a very good chance it's going to try to continue higher and the market's going to try to continue to push. But we have to be very careful with this because this will also depend on many different factors. So for next week, okay, I want to remind you all that uh, on Monday, we have some manufacturing numbers. Tuesday, we have some uh, employment numbers coming out, but everything's very minor. And then for Wednesday, we have some very important jobs numbers coming out, not to mention the FOMC meeting. So we have the Joel's job openings report. Then we have Jerome Powell giving a speech with the next interest rate hike decision. We're expecting the Fed to keep rates the same, and we're going to be listening to see what Jerome Powell has to say. So this is going to cause a big move in the markets, so and we'll have to see if this causes a shift or not. So we'll just have to be very patient with this coming out. Moving forward, this is what our earnings calendar looks like for next week. We have SoFi on Monday, Paramount as well. On Tuesday, we have PayPal and Amazon and AMD. Very, very big ones on Tuesday. Wednesday has Pfizer and a few others like Qualcomm. Very, very minor ones. And then Thursday is going to be even more important as we have Apple, Coinbase, and DraftKings. Apple is going to be one of the biggest ones. I can't wait to see what this causes. It could have a big effect on the overall flow within the markets. As far as NEO goes, there's some news coming out right over here that at the a press conference of Formula Student China 2024 was held at the NEO booth. And once again, uh, that's very important because this is at the 18th Auto China. And there's been a lot of talk about their improvements to every single one of their capabilities. And we're looking at the Formula Student China and the 10th consecutive year of NEO's intensive support to this event. So NEO's encouraging many college students to actively commit themselves to exploration and practice. And that's something great about their purpose. Uh, if anything, there's been a lot more talk about EVs in the whole Chinese market. Uh, once again, forming more deals and trying to become a lot more affordable. Lotus partners with NEO for many of their improvements to the battery swap models. This news came out and this helped NEO bounce quite a bit. There's also more news coming out for the entire EV sector, at least in China, as we're starting to see more improvements being made and more talk about them potentially being committed to basically producing a lot more moderately priced vehicles in 2024. William Lee Bin also said that the NEO cable network uh, that he said this at the cable network, that the company is going to offer an SUV that's less expensive than Tesla Model Ys. They're going to continue to grow in that regard, and they're going to improve their functionalities and affordability of their battery swap technology. That's great news for the markets, at least for NEO. Maguire has reiterated a neutral rating for NEO. We're also seeing some shifts right, right over here in the price price ratios. It's going up a bit as NEO is gaining a little bit of strength. And we have a tendency of seeing more volatility on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, more green. And also at around 11 a.m. and during the final hour of the trading day. In addition to all of this, we have about 59 million in volume. That's a little bit higher than the average volume. Good for Neo, and we're starting to see a very, very nice bounce that's developing in the chart as we had a bullish divergence breakout and a nice accumulation structure. So right over here, we started to see once again a lot of these buy orders taking place. We start to see very, very positive order flow starting from this breakout right here, and this continued with the nice, nice, nice looking cup. So this ended up forming, I did call this out in my video from yesterday that I expected more upside. I think that NEO has more room to go higher. So we're going to be looking for a retest of 4.4, then a potential breakout to 4.6 at the very least into the 4.6s. Then we could, could continue even higher to 4.8. So it's looking very, very interesting, very good so far. So I see potential in NEO, and I think that this could continue as time progresses. So looking pretty good for NEO. Moving forward for the other tickers out there, I just wanted to call out that we have Tesla over here. Tesla's trying to push... A little bit higher, uh, we have a nice uptrend that's being established, also forming a potential flag over here. Tesla pushed all the way up to about 174. It got a little rejection here, and we do have potential to go higher. I want to call out that as far as Tesla goes, uh, we're on a very, very nice uptrend, and we could continue to go higher. Uh, but we need to see uh, basically no more very negative pieces of news for this to continue to push. We had some negative news today coming out with the whole probe coming out for that. Uh, autopilot for Tesla and their latest updates. 
uh, with that happening, uh, there is some negative news coming out that the autopilot has some uh, issues and you know there's a possibility that tesla could dip a bit more because of that but because we're still within this range right here we're still holding above 168 we're still holding it very well it is possible it dips a little bit more before we try to get a big bounce and i still think it's possible tesla continues because when you look at this this there's another imbalance up here which i think tesla could eventually reach if we break past 175 so i think it might dip a little bit more before we try to bounce back up and i think it could push even higher from here once we see more positive order flow and a lot more uh you know potential changes that are developing on the charts for nvidia we're also breaking out nvidia is approaching this 900 area all over again and the reason it's breaking out is because there's been a lot of talk about may being a very positive month for the chip stocks so this could continue higher going all the way up to 900 that's a strong possibility for spy like i said earlier we're on a very very nice uptrend we have this imbalance over here to fill so i think we might eventually try to push higher i do anticipate it's going to come back down to about the 507s first before it tries to bounce back up so look for a retest of 507 before it tries to break back up higher to 512 plus and i still see potential in this for uh the qqq uh in my personal opinion i think that this could drop a bit and retest either 430 or 428 then bounce and start pushing higher and then we could continue a little bit higher depending on how earnings go but for now i'm still seeing potential in this chart with that being said that's what i'm seeing for the time being apple also has potential if we hold above our 200 200 ema we could push higher towards 172.5 so i'll be watching to see if that ends up being the case so that being said guys uh that's what i've been seeing on these charts i'm seeing potential in the markets to push even higher uh, next week is going to be very uh, important for whether or not this continues technicals do look a little bit more bullish heading into next week but i'm going to be a little concerned about wednesday because we have jerome powell giving a speech and we'll see if this guy causes a rug pull or not the best thing to do is just be very very patient nonetheless so we'll see how things go we'll be very very patient with our trades and such we'll give the market the time it needs and we will remain calm cool, and collected no matter how things go that being said thank you all so much for listening i hope you guys have a very very blessed day please take care and enjoy what the weekend has to offer it's been a very very long week with a lot going on and then next week on may 1st uh we have the very important fomc meeting so i will see what jerome Powell has to say and i'll report what he says as well it's going to have a big effect on whether or not the market continues this rally and we'll see how things go so make sure you guys are prepared for this make sure you're calm cool, and collected and with that being said i will see you guys very soon for tomorrow by the way i'm not going to likely uh, record a video I'm going to be back on Sunday. So I'll see you guys again on Sunday after this. I'm going to be taking a little break on Saturday. So until then, uh, enjoy what the charts have to offer. Enjoy life. And I'll see you guys very soon uh, again on Sunday uh, during the daytime, hopefully during the afternoon. And we'll be talking about how things go from there. All right. So have a great day, guys. Thank you for listening and peace out.